and it's gotta be gentlemen, welcome again to yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. You guys are probably used to seeing us on YouTube, me chilling in my house with my bad camera, but now I got a good camera, I think Charlie's camera, we'll see. But we are here live at Cary, North Carolina at K-A-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-
Let's go ahead and have a seat real quick here. So let's talk about what we like about this movie. It's such an interesting movie, incredible movie. There's never been a movie like it. Mr. Uh, Charles Taylor, what did you like about this movie? Charles Taylor. I, I realized that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of have no idea. He's new to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like a lot about the movie. The fights were awesome. They had when all the uh, you know the explosion and the special effects, the team ups. I really love those. Seeing Spider Man, Under, uh, Iron Man, Cat, uh, uh, Doctor Strange, and well, I guess Wong. He was there for a little bit. So we, we saw all of them go toe to toe. I left the front door open. That's what you about to do. I left the front door open. That's basically what you about to do. I really enjoyed it, so... Okay. Who doesn't get some specific That's why people are watching. I know. I'm still, I'm still recovering. No, right. You know what, you know what happens in the end. Okay. But seeing how many, I guess, different uh, locations that they can play in this movie, and we can really just, just flow right into the movie. So the way the writing and the directing, the directing was put together, you know, really just made the whole movie work. You know, now we see you know, Thor and as the you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. You can't stop right there. No way. <laughs> this is a children's show. Thor and as Thor. The Guardians the Guardian. of the Galaxy. <laughs> and also seeing you know, Iron Man with Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. You know, just seeing all those different team ups. And then of course the Wakanda scene. Of course. That, that, that was that Everybody was cheered. As soon as they got the Black Panther, like, you see the movie twice. And both times, people started cheering. Right? <laughs> Black Panther. I just saw the Panther structure. Like, Panther Panther. And everybody went wild. It's like, yeah, hey, we ain't got that. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need more Black Panther. Right. They should have just uh, cut to that at the very end of the movie. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Sad. Look at the Panther. Look at the Panther. Look at the Panther. So, playing the mood a little bit. But, um, you know, just seeing how all these characters were able to work together and tie in a great story. Um, it is a hard, hard story to to watch <laughs> unfold, especially for people that's been around with Marvel for ten years, like myself, and seeing some of the characters. You know. It's not a hard story for you to watch, Dirk. It's still a hard story. It's not for you, man. It's, it's still a hard story. You got what you wanted. I, I just all I got. That's all. Well, I didn't know that. I was that was how I saw him. <laughs> I saw him, and I was like, now, here it goes. I was preparing. Stark privilege. <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah, start privilege. Start privilege, right there. That's all it but is. But my voice fighting at the We'll get into that a little bit later. But, you know, to see this epic movie, how long it took, I'm going to put it together. And just to see how it came, came together was awesome. You know, I'm, I'm ready for the next one. Because it can't leave, it can't leave, I can't. I can't leave the ending like this. <laughs> I have literally, literally just sat there and sat in the seat and just watched and watched and was hoping something else would happen. But of course, they came back at the end and they got us again. This one more time. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, that was oh, yeah. it. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh yeah. Oh, kick him over. They figured out this. But yeah, those are, those are some of my top things I really like. Just the way the movie flowed together. It was it was really good. So, what about you, Marquise? Yeah, no, sir. So, uh, yeah, you know, this movie was 10 years of Lincoln, so it's no surprise that the movie was awesome. But I guess that the one of the main things that I was really impressed with and that I was pleased with about the movie was how they were able to write a story with, I mean, you got to remember that this movie is based off of 10 years of storytelling. Like, and people still even leave yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's still, yeah. They still, you know, even in my party, I haven't talked to like, oh, you. Yeah, you know, sit down. Like, sit down. Right, right. You, you know, you know that. Sit down. Right. But, but yeah, this, this movie is, is the culmination of 10 years of two hour plus long movies. And they were able to take that and create a story with equal amounts of depth to the plot and action. Plus, give these superpowered uh, main characters, you know, who were standalones in their own movie, give them enough equity and time compared to each other. Big word, big word. 
<laughs> Do you hear this, Daddy? We expect better next time. Daddy, we expect better next time. Real deal. <laughs> I mean, he's making an investment, you know what I'm saying? Get money, money back on his comments. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were able to do that, and like, I, I don't feel like I didn't get enough Tony Stark. Or I don't feel like I didn't get enough Thor. Or I don't feel like I didn't get enough Captain America. Like, everybody had a just amount of time. And that's really difficult to do when you have these, these characters who were powerhouses of their own movies for two hours, and we, you know, we don't want to watch it. That was that was one of the big things I was impressed with this movie that I really I really thought about it is that um, one of the other things I love I love about all movies Charles so many years. I always love my villains. I mean who doesn't? Always I, like I love my villains. Um He rejoices. And, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. I look at him like To the whole thing. Yes. That, you know, that carbon yes. that, oh, that, 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 that MMA uh, <laughs> <laughs> round one or two. It was it two rounds? What do you say that's one round? I don't know. Yeah. 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 But but just the uh, the characters the villains were awesome. Like uh, I, I, I was talking about the trial before we started doing this about Ebony Maw and his whole sanctimonious speech pattern and, and the obsession he had with Thor. Like 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 like, like his the, 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 the obsession that he had over uh, Daniels was just sickening. But it makes sense. I have a degree in music, okay? <laughs> I, think, I think it's uh, falling attention. It's like we're learning. Right, right. I think, I think that. Uh, Take notes. Like, it makes sense that Thanos will be a villain that has a dude like, on him like that. It makes sense. This is hype, man. It's just like that. They gotta get everybody ready. Like, right. yeah, I'm coming out. It's like, my man's just coming. But he, he goes a step beyond that. It's almost, he's a hype man, gets you hype for Thanos, but then expects you to uh, thank Thanos for a bad show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like Kanye, you know, I'm going to be Kanye. Let me know. We ain't got any Well, what he, what he got going on, no comment. Just kept it up. Like someone like Kanye coming out and, and you know giving the worst flow ever, and then another dude comes out and says, Yeah, 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 I know y'all like that. Yeah, that was awesome. It's like, dude, you just kill half the audience. Right? I mean, like, <laughs> <Kill the audience. laughs> you know, so, but yeah, like, and we talked about this a little bit after we after the original saw the movie, how uh, we thought that yeah, Daniel was going to be a one dimensional uh, comic book character, straight off the pages, you know, er, I, I want to kill everybody. Just because I can, you know, type of thing. But I, uh, we'll talk about this later. I didn't get as much as I want, but I do think that we got, we got some motivation. Yeah, some love, six of <laughs> <laughs> We got to see a lot of Daniel's motivation. You know, his logic, faulty as it may be, uh, of what he, of what he thought he was doing and why he thought it was right. Those are like two main things. Nice. Uh, let me see here, the things that I loved about it. Well, first of all, I will tell you, seeing it a second time made me appreciate it a lot better. Like, the first time I was like, okay, that, that was pretty decent. But the second time, when you watch it the first time, and number one, you're trying to figure everything out. And number two, you're dealing with your expectations. You know, but when you watch it the second time, you already know what to expect, so now you can just appreciate it and watch things. So, um, some of the humor hit me a lot better the second time. Because in some of the other movies, like the humor is big, like Ragnarok, like, oh, look at me, there's a dragon coming up, cut his head off. It's funny, right? Right? I got a guy, that rock guy, he's talking at you, you know? <laughs> but the, the humor was more subtle, but it's like, oh, okay, like, I, I like the humor a lot more watching it the second time. Um, interestingly enough, I like Teenage Group. And I like, the reason I liked him is because I like the fact that they made me hate him first. Because I love, I'm just like everybody else, bro. I, I'm an old man, but you know, baby dude is awesome, bro. I don't know what he takes me about toes off. He's a murderer. 
but he's awesome too. <laughs> but teenage Groot is like, I'm not feeling this. Just, you know, I am Groot all the time. You know, but when I saw him step up when it was time to help out Thor and the, and the help the, uh, you know, where's, where's the handle? Where's the handle? <laughs> you know, he kind of came on through. He literally was stabbing like six people and talking like, yeah, I'm Groot. This is me. I'm just killing people. It's not, you know, no, I'm just chilling over here right. playing the game. Right. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> And they introduce themselves to right. each other? Like, well, we don't know what Thor does. He was saying, probably. I'm stabbing him. I'm like, that's Thor. I wonder how many more ladies Thor does. How much of the Thor universe is Thor? Because I don't know. Like, how many times do we have to see North God, not the common God. Right? Oh, not African American. He's not the God of Mississippi. Oh, <laughs> the male is great. The male is great. Take this out of this. Take this out of the great. But yeah, I like I like the fact that they, they made me dislike him and then see him step up. That was cool. I like Peter Dinklage as a giant. Like that was so backwards. So how they did that. Yeah. And I, I know like, he was like, it was the other that. I was like, well, first of all, I have to I get to do Buster Rhymes raps. Commercial. <laughs> now I get to be a giant. Like you can't stop me, son. You can't stop me. <laughs> I love how uh, spoiler alert for all of y'all who are you know outside, not haven't seen the movie yet. I love how the more killed Thanos, or so we thought, and then how the whole thing was uh, you know Thanos already had the reality stone, and then was sitting there just watching was a rant. Like oh, jump! Like everybody's already there. So, so the question is. If can she do that in reality, or did he make that's what he made it that reality for her? He made it for her. I mean, we know that. But he made it reality for her. If he didn't know have that glove, could she have to, you know, kill him with stab him in the neck? Come on, I mean, we had Star Spider Man, Captain Doctor uh, Strange. But nobody thought to stab him. He was sitting there sleep for like 45 minutes, just stab him in the neck, and that's all we need to do. <laughs> right. Don't worry about the gauntlet. Just kill him. I'm sorry, that's the part. Of <laughs> right. Next, he always does this. He always does this. I don't know if we will wait. I got it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was cool. I forgot what I was going to say. All right, Thor. <laughs> After Thor really showed himself to be the protector of Midgard. Like, I like that. Like, he, Thor's job is he's supposed to protect Earth. And Loki called him on it, like in, uh, in the uh, first Avengers movie. Like, oh yeah, you're doing, you're doing a really great job. <laughs> they killing each other in North Korea, Trump president. You know, you're doing a great job here in Thor. You know, but to see Thor come out in the Wakanda and say, boom, nah, I got y'all, and really show his power. Because in the other movies, you see Thor's power in Avengers when the, um, the Avengers are first coming down. And then after that, he's just a hand to hand fighter most of the time. You know, so you don't really see he's that much more powerful than, let's say, Captain America. But this situation, like, oh, I get it. I get it. Well, the, you know, I think that they touched on this in Ragnarok. He had reached potential. Right. Right. You need to get a little, little group in. A little, little older. Yeah. You know, as the audience get older, as they get older, they get stronger. So they just, okay. He had young, young Thor early, so he was, you know, he was too bad as he were. Right. I do agree with you. Yeah, we did. We did. That's because I make good points. <laughs> <laughs> you do, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> we did see his potential then, but we definitely see what Thor can do with the Stormbreaker. Yes. <laughs> Just go for the head, make something. Go for the head. I uh, got a lot of likes here. I'm trying to keep it down. But um, the CGI in this movie, not only did I like CGI, I also liked the bravery it took to make it. First of all, my main concern about the movie was Thanos. You know, watching the trailers, I was like, you don't look that much better than Steppenwolf, personally. But it's like, every time I watched him in the movie, it's like, I didn't doubt him any more than I was doubting Gamora sitting over there with her makeup on. Like, it looked really good. Like, the attention to detail and making things asymmetrical, like in a regular human face. Like, I just thought he was a real huge guy. He's magical. And he did a little weird, like, standing aside, the moment I speak, which you get sometimes. Can we go back to... Uh, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> like you go back to uh, Avengers 1 with the Hulk standing, standing around a team, he kind of looked out of place. Yeah, like, and, and I don't know if that's so much the CGI, 
Fiat or or in hopes uh, the men should live, you know, like you know, how his body is made up. Mm -hmm. How his arm, leg and arm that makes sense of. But Beno looks regular. Like you yeah. said, he just looks like a super big dude standing on the side of the or anybody else. I'm just gonna point out real quick. Uh, Hope, when you come back, it was Marquise that said you look weird. But to me, it was not. He ain't coming back. He, 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 said, said, he, he said, said no. He said no. He said no. 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 I know him. Yeah. Okay. Keep thinking that. You know this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
what's the uh, vibranium shield? He's gone, and she, what she, uh, Scarlet Witch just threw a big, a big truck at the I mean, And then the last dude, he just gets nothing to stab in the back every five seconds. I'm like, okay, you can train these guys a little bit better than us. These must get dropped like flies. So that was that was one of my dislikes. I thought they should have been a little bit tougher. But, but they. I know it had to happen, but they didn't have to just take. They took my boy to Chawa. They took to Chawa. He just had to move. <laughs> Did they see what the box office was? That's why. I'm like, I thought I was like, well, I know he's not going. Oh, he's disappearing too. <laughs> I'm not believe this yeah, movie theater right now. That was the first time I was laughing. But then we go keep going down the line. Now you got it. Cat still didn't get it. Everybody can do it. Oh, if we get it. <laughs> <laughs> will be backing me up. You can't, you can't, you can't make it. He, he don't say it. 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 Don't I don't know if I would have called Mr. Stark nothing but some bad names on the way out. I was like, man, you probably here. No way he made me find a man. And I was like, everybody. Everybody. And man, the Guardians of the Galaxy is going. Nearly everybody. Except the two people. Except the two people y'all thought was going to die. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. I enjoyed them, but I hated them. So they might have got, they did a great job, but I hate them. He just took everything. He took everything. He took all of them from me. I'm like, he took this is a half. horrible movie. And we just sat, I think we sat in the theater for literally just 30 minutes. <laughs> Silence. It was some funny, Charlie. I'm sorry. It was funny, Charlie. It was funny. So again, we've seen the movie twice. Cause we, you know, we're gonna make sure that we watch and see what's going on. So I was in it the second time Charlie wasn't. So the first time we watched it, it was just complete silence. Like we saw Black Panther, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, what kind of film? The first time, this time, it was complete silence. And nobody said nothing, except us, because we're black and we say stuff. We talk, we talk during movies. Y'all, you know this, we talk during movies. Yes, I know we talk the whole movie. They can't do this. Right. They can't do this, this can't be serious. No, no, but, but this time, it was funny because people were like, no! They were literally yelling. Stop doing popcorn. Oh, yes. I'm like, oh, no, I see. You can't leave me like this. You can't leave me. Yes. That would have been so. I would have been jumping. One, one of the things that I, that I was, I thought was funny was, um, I was in the front. It was like, I had to be a little late. And the, the kids were all behind me. So when Thor comes down and, you know, he's going to put the axe, they're like, yeah, yeah, you get him, Thor. And I was like, oh, Thanos is done. You know, that's all that excitement. And I see it, so I'm like, ooh. Like, I'm like, ooh, it's, it's not that bad. Like, that's what you get, man. That's what you get. And then, man, I was really good. He gave his little speech, you know. And then, Go for the head. And every day, he starts saying it, and the kids were silent. And then, I literally heard maybe four or five minutes of breath from Spider Man, like, fading away. They just couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. Like, and, and it's so, they just knew that the movie was over. Your son was sitting next to me. Uh, your youngest. Son. <laughs> that's I thought I was gonna have to take him out of there. That's how I was. I was holding. I was holding my hair. I was like, this is this is tough. I'm like, this is a movie, but this is tough, man. It's like, it's, I, I think I had some tears too. I was like, I'm crying a little bit over here. It's like, man, ten years. I just take it. Another 10 years. You, you gotta come back and see the next one. Wow, another 10? Crazy. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> By the way, before we talk about what you didn't like, <laughs> we'll get over the tangent. My bad, John. My bad. This is what happens after this type of movie. Right. We literally sat in the movie for like two hours. Just, 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 but just happened. Right. Right. We just went right. 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 That's all you got you didn't like? That was, that was amazing. Let's see, what I did like. Um, 
I know I gave props to uh, Anthony Wall, but you just get my nerves out for a while. Like, I just wanted to stop talking. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, like played him. Yeah. Played him. Because he was like, Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, any, anybody that's, like, really into someone, like, it's just like, dude, like, Thanos is not that great. Like, <laughs> it's like, dude, shit. Like, I was so happy when, when he finally, uh, um, uh, I was, test me, test me. <laughs> I was finally, uh, I, I was really happy when he finally got sucked in space and he got sucked in like, Did you think he died? I think he died, yeah. No, like, like, when it happened, did you think, like, he was gonna be dead? I don't know. Okay. I, I didn't think so. I was like, well, that couldn't have been that easy. Spider-Man right. just figured that out. That's awesome. It's all about the movie. I guess he had a reason to think. Not, I mean, he could have been there. It would have been nice to see him come back. That would make it a little bit harder. Yeah. Like him grabbing on or something that had like glass in out. Right. Like, yeah. Particularly since he got power to move stuff, he could have, but he couldn't move himself. True. 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 what was happening. It was happening so fast. 
I really couldn't see what was happening. It's like the black widow is like it's called the Johansson and she's pregnant again. <laughs> Zoom it out. You know, it's kind of not because she was pregnant in, in a movie before. Yes, was. So in some of her fighting moms looking at me straight like, don't you say that, Rashad? Don't you say that, Rashad? So I'm gonna have to clarify. She was pregnant in a previous movie and they, they switched the crap camera work up in order to do that. But yeah, I didn't like that. Um, other than that, all the fights were great. Um, I thought the first time I saw it that they had trouble with humor. I thought that the Russo brothers maybe just didn't get a handle on it. But again, my second time watching it, I just realized that the humor was just a lot more subtle. It was just, you know, it was funny, funny little small. Now, some of the humor was. Those, it. those of the galaxy really brought me. Yeah. That, that group was. And like, Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. <laughs> Iron, Man, Iron, Man Iron Man does it all. And, and I agree with you, but you also got to remember the, um, the tone of the movie, too. Yeah. Like, uh, this movie wasn't, obviously all of our movies have a tone in it, but they knew it was going This movie was going to have a lot of death in it, that was a great plan of games. So I think that it's possible they toned down the humor on purpose to set the movie and tone of the movie uh, from the beginning to end. So I'm going to that way because there were scenes that were definitely funny. You know, and those scenes that were definitely, like you can tell, this is supposed to be funny. But the, the stuff that was supposed to be funny didn't hit as much. Like, again, like, um, even the Civil War. Like, Civil War is kind of, it's not dark to this extent, but some of the humor fit, hit better in this one. But again, I realized, like I said, it was just more subtle. It was more an intellectual humor, except for Iron Man. Again, we talked about Squidward. I've seen this movie. Yes, that, that part had me I've seen this movie two times in a row, and I have no idea what uh, Ebony Maw said right after Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought he said something. 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 He said because after he's called him Squidward, everybody just busted out laughing, so I was watching him for him. Oh, okay. One um, of my major, okay, here's a small issue here. The design of Anos' ring ships, I was really disappointed by that. Because it's a giant ring showing up, okay? Giant ring. A ring is supposed to be, do one of two things. Either it's supposed to be a portal, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's supposed to come out of the ring. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's like, okay, Thanos and his army is coming through that yeah. ring. Yeah, or at least or at least land that ring on the ground like a big old tricycle and drive it <laughs> across the ground. I mean it's just it's it a just, spaceship. It just blew air. It seemed like it just blew air or maybe it sucked air. I didn't know the point. Of yeah. That. I was trying to figure out too, like why why what's the what's the uh benefit to that Right. Was it a fan? And I don't know, obviously that whole his mind was different than most people. If he did that uh, killing half the universe was a good thing. Uh, <laughs> right. For whatever reason. So I don't know what his reason was. If, if that was his, if, if he was in control of it. Right. But it just seems random. Like, I guess it was they, they, they wanted spaceship, they didn't want to watch the spaceship. So they, 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 wanted, they wanted something on their own. Really? Yeah. Like Emily Mall was like, that is the greatest spaceship. <laughs> that is the greatest spaceship. Like, 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 when, when Tony was like, I don't think I have a lot of I was like, so why do I have a lot of friends? Like, not even like, I don't think I have a lot of friends. Things might have an auto landing, but I, I just wanted to see how do you land that thing. Like, it's a giant wheel. Like, like, it doesn't have like, have, like uh, Propulsion technology, it just floats on the ground or something? Like, you, you would think it wouldn't be hard to land a giant wheel. I mean, that's what wheels kind of do. <laughs> you know, they, they kind of, you're supposed to throw it on the ground and as long as you land it the right way, it keeps on rolling, but that's not what happened. Um, my number one issue with the movie, I felt that there was too much suspension of disbelief. You know, man, he's coming with the good literary terms and stuff. I went to school too, man. I went to <laughs> uh, suspension of disbelief. Well, that basically, when you're watching a movie, that just supposed, that means that you're supposed to believe. It's okay for you to believe that somebody wears a suit of armor that can do things that no one person can't do. Yeah. As far as the superheroes are concerned, they normally fight a lot of ground level threats. You know, so for somebody to show, the hope to show up is like he's got these six stones, and you get them together, they're going to blow up the whole half universe. Like, I just, I kind of felt like they believed the threat. 
way oh, too easy. You, you know what I mean? Like half the he's gonna kill half the universe. Like that's like they're fighting Earth stuff, and all of a sudden we're talking about the universe. They just believed it way too easy. I guess I guess the only thing with the is that they dealt with uh, baby stones before. Like, like, with uh, Ultron, you know, being able to kind of understand, you know, the power of what they are. So I guess, and, and also when they when they were told this, stuff happened right after. <laughs> right. So it's like, you can't really go into like, I'm a question. It's like, it's because like half the, you know, the city's getting destroyed right now. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this threat. You know, that's correct. I'm not sure I guess, I guess I can. Yeah, that's what I was going to say something to that. Um, I think that, I, I felt that way about Cap. Like Cap, you know, like he just kind of made it, you know, ran with it. Yeah. Like that's what about Tony, you know, we gotta get ready. But I think I don't think it would be hard for someone like Tony Stark and obviously the Guardians of the Galaxy, everybody else other than Cap and uh, the more human type yeah. of mm -hmm. I think I, 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 it's possible to me that they would be able to grasp that concept and run with it and just get get ready. And then the other thing that maybe spurred uh, Cap and them into believing it was vision. Like they, they, they know that they don't quite understand what Monster yeah. is, yeah. and they know yeah. that he's having these premonition, premonition type of things going on. So they may not have completely understood it and believed it, but they believe the danger and the threat. And that might have been one of them to get ready to whatever was coming around. Mm -hmm. Eventually, that was the Let's talk about that real quick. Let's talk about Iron Man's team versus Cap's team. Yeah. Iron, Iron Man team. won that. Iron Iron Man. Man. Even though we choose Black Panther, I see you over there, but yeah. Iron Man, he ain't no joke. Yeah, they put up a fight. They, put up, they almost had it, man. They almost had it. I mean, work for Quill. Oh, and Quill and his Star Lord. Feelings. Right. Yeah, get the feelings. Just but, kill him in his Star Lord. I mean, the Thanos fought those mothers for like 20 minutes. I mean, he kept going back and forth to the scenes. Then Thanos shows up on Earth with Cap's team. He's like, oh. Don't get war machine. Get war machine over the air. Yes. Come on. Yeah. It's like Iron Man. I mean, Captain America's like, oh. I don't remember what the other I'm sorry. Today, if you haven't seen a movie yet, you're about to see Cap get laid cold. I mean, my man hit the ground and didn't move. He hit the ground and was asleep. Right. He gonna wake up and he's like, Chris. Yeah, it was it was a wrap. It was a wrap. Right? He said, "Okay, uh, let me know when Bucky will deliver my uh, my key." Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So real quick, going back to our question that was asked to us, you guys have anything else you dislike, right? I can. I probably think it's like that. Okay. <laughs> same here. Same here. Um. Going back to that question. Why didn't Doctor Strange use the time stone? I'm sure that's the question that everybody is, yes. asked. Why didn't he get the time stone? If we saw him fight Dormammu, you would have thought that Thanos would have been the small chunk change versus like a dude who basically he's got his own universe. Yes. He's got his own universe. But um, initially, yeah, you're like, why didn't you? You ain't got no watch on your hand. There's nothing on your hand. You got time stone. She's got the time stone, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting ready. Now wrap this up. Um, Initially, yeah, you're like, why didn't he use the time stone? But eventually, after he sees all the realities, the, I think we had to fill the up on this. I'm going to hear myself about this. But, you know, uh, Dr. Strange saw 14 million different ways that it could end. So, obviously, he saw that using the time stone was, uh, you know. Now, the thing about this, though, you don't know, they woke him up, you know what I mean? Like, they walked up on him, and, and then the cake was like, hey. <laughs> hey, people walking up on you. So if he had watched another, if they had watched another thirty million versions, he probably could have found another ten to twelve million. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to go let everybody die. Right, exactly. exactly. We, we were we were thinking something. We were we were thinking. Yeah, you got to get something. At least two, two more. We got two more. Right? Like, come on. It's like you know, he'll come back. It's like I got I got two ways. All right, so one way is half the universe is going to die. The other way. I mean, just stay with me, guys. Just stay with me. They got these guys called the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bold dude. No, this He's got powers. Okay, yeah. trust, trust what, what he should have said, he said, "This is where we're gonna win." Quill, 